welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be discussing quadrilaterals and the different types and characteristics of these quadrilaterals. So as you can see on your screen, you have a chart here. It's actually called a hierarchy. So we're going to start up top with quadrilateral, which is the most general type of quadrilateral, and we're going to work our way down to the most specific. We're going to be adding characteristics as we work our way down. Now I added two links in the description, uh, one with a blank chart that you can fill in along with me if you'd like, or I've added one with all the notes typed out. So use how you see fit and uh, go from there. So I'm going to start up top with quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is a four-sided and has to have four angles polygon. So four sides, four angles. Anything that meets that criteria is a quadrilateral. And when I say polygon, that means a flat two-dimensional shape with no rounded edges and it's closed, no openings. And a quadrilateral is a specific type of polygon. And then now we're getting into more specific types of quadrilaterals. So anything with four sides, four angles, quadrilateral. So as we work our way down, we're going to veer off to the right here to trapezoid. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral, but it also has to have one pair of parallel sides. So in the uh, trapezoid that I'm writing in, the top and the bottom are parallel the left and the right or not. So we have a trapezoid, exactly one pair of parallel sides. Now if we go to the left, we have a parallelogram, which is a quadrilateral, but a parallelogram has to have two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, so we're getting a little more specific as we go, work our way down. Now, let's go to rhombus here. So rhombus is a quadrilateral. It is a parallelogram, so it has to have two pairs of parallel sides, but we're going to give it one more specific characteristic. A rhombus has four congruent sides. And congruent means equal. All sides have to be equal. So if a shape is a quadrilateral, it has two pairs of parallel sides and four congruent sides, all the sides are the same, the best name for that shape is rhombus. The best name for that quadrilateral is rhombus. You could also call, call it a quadrilateral. It is a quadrilateral, but the best name is rhombus. Now let's take a look at rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral, it has four sides, four angles. It is a parallelogram. It has two pairs of parallel sides. But what makes it more specific than a parallelogram and a quadrilateral, it has to have four right angles. So four 90 degree angles. Now, the most specific quadrilateral of all is the square. So a square basically combines everything on the left side of your screen, the parallelogram, the rectangle, and the rhombus to make the most specific quadrilateral. So a square, I'm gonna write outside the square here so I have more room. It is a quad. It is a parallelogram. It does have two pairs of parallel sides. It is a rectangle, right? It has to have four right angles. And it also has to mix in a characteristic of rhombus. It has four congruent sides. So the best name, if a quadrilateral meets all of those characteristics, would be square. Now, is a square a quadrilateral? Yes, it has four sides, four angles. Is it a parallelogram, two pairs of parallel sides? Yes, 
This is a rectangle. It has those four right angles plus a quad plus a parallelogram. Yes, it is a rectangle. Is it a rhombus, quad, parallelogram, and four congruent sides? Yes, but the best name for it is square. So there are the different types of quadrilaterals. Uh, now there are some different ones and other ones, but these are the main ones we cover in fifth grade here. Um, and that gives you an idea of how they differ and how we get more specific as we work our way down our chart. Now what we're going to do now over at the mastery check, which I dropped the link before, link below in the description, we are going to uh, classify some quadrilaterals on our own. So I will see you over at the mastery check where, like I said, you'll try some on your own. Use these notes, use these notes. So either you wrote them in the chart on your own or you printed one where I had it done for you. So use your chart. I'll see you over at the mastery check. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, peace.